All right, so we're going to solve this problem. Um, what's going to happen here is we're flipping this around, so it's going to look something kind of like this. Well, it goes up farther, but and it's rotating at about this. Okay, so um, it's going to be 2 pi. We're using shell method, and it's going to be um, 3 minus y. And then we're integrating from 0 to 2. And it's going to be um, square root of 2. And then I'm going to break this down so it's easier to integrate um, plus 1 and then dy. All right, so I'm going to distribute the 3 minus y. So what we end up with is 2 pi, um, what we're integrating anyway, from 0 to 2. And it's going to be, after you multiply everything out, it's going to be 3 plus 3 square root 2, y raised to the 1 half minus y, my square root of 2, y raised to the 3 halves. Quantity dy. We integrate this, we get... 3y plus 2 root 2 y raised to 3 halves minus 1 half y squared minus 2 root 2 over 5 y raised to the 5 halves from 0 to 2. All right. So furthermore, when we plug in 2, uh, go start with 2 and subtract uh, when we plug in 0 what we end up with is quantity 2 6 plus 8 minus 2 minus 16 fifths and ultimately what we end up with is 88 pi over 5 for the volume when we go from um, 0 to 2 here fill this in and then wrap it about y equals 3 so it rotates about here we got a nice hollow and then all this area goes a, bit, a little bit farther up, but it's just this volume here that's filled in. All right, I hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.